Hey everybody, this is Sarah from the Catawba County Library and today I just want to talk to you about light and shadow. You can have a lot of fun playing around with light and shadow and you don't need a lot of materials to do that. I hope you pay attention when it's a sunny day outside and you see your shadow. The sun shines on us but it can't shine through us. And so solid masses will make a shadow. As you can see, my head's making a shadow behind me. To play around with light and shadow, you just need a light source. Outside, it's the sun. Inside, you could use a flashlight or a lamp or even the flashlight on a phone. And then you can play around with things that will block out that light. So the first one I want to show you is a tube shadow. All you need to make a tube shadow is any kind of toilet paper roll or paper towel roll, anything that makes that tube or that circle shape. The next thing you need is just any kind of recycled plastic. If you have an old Ziploc bag, you could cut a piece out or cling wrap. You're going to cover the end with that and secure it with a rubber band or some kind of elastic. You can decorate your tube if you want on the outside. Sometimes we like to wrap colorful paper around it or draw on it with markers. But you don't have to. You just need the tube, the plastic, and an elastic band or rubber band. Then what you do is you want to cut out a shape. Any kind of shape will work. You could do letters or animal shapes. I would say something that's a simple shape because the circumference of the toilet paper tube is not very large. And so you need your shape to fit inside the circumference of that circle. I like to uh, cut out stars, or this one has a moon shape on it. And once you've made your shape, you want to just tape it or glue it on the end where you covered the plastic. That's all you need to make a tube shadow. Now, when you shine a light on your tube, you're going to see that shape come to life on your wall. You can play around with the closer you get to your light source, the more I'm blocking out the light and it's going to make a larger shadow. Or the further away, it's going to be darker but smaller. And like I said, you can make letters or other kinds of shapes and make them come to life on your wall. So that's a fun way to play around with light and shadow. Tube shadows. The next one you can do is even easier. Any kind of stick or straw, something sturdy, and then you cut out your shape on cardstock or old cereal boxes even. Any shape you want, you could turn into a shadow puppet. So my first one, I did a rocket ship shape. I just cut it out of a piece of green cardstock. And now, when I shine my rocket shape in front of my light source, I've got a rocket shining shadow on my wall that I can make blast off to the moon. And you can play around with moving it up and down and side to side in front of your light source to make your shadow puppet. So I'm making this one move on my own. You can also make shadow puppets that move. Things that you could use to do that are clothespins. I could maybe make a shadow that uh, shadow puppet that's mouth will open and close with my clothespin. Or I can use uh, what we call brads. They're just little movable metal clasps. And that way I can move my shadow puppet and make them walk or stand and make them come to life on my wall. It's really fun to play with shadow puppets. If you have a really intricate design, one that has a lot of details, and you're worried about having to cut all those details out, the library actually has a digital cutter, which is pretty cool because what it does is if I load my uh, silhouette or my outline into the computer, 
then the digital cutter will cut that shape out for me. I'll give you a sneak peek. If you want to take a look, I'll show you what that digital cutter can do at the library. So here it is. Ours is called a Curio. And I loaded my shape into the computer, the outline of the animal or uh, whatever shadow shape you want to make. And now that little piece where the red circle is, is actually cutting out my shape for me. And it does it in perfect precision, unlike how my cutting skills might be sometimes. And so if you have a shape that's pretty intricate and has a lot of small details, you could come to the library or send the file to the library and we'll cut it out for you. I'll show you that one there that you watched actually made this cool dragon. So it had really tiny claws and things that would be hard to cut out. So I used the library's digital cutter to make my dragon puppet come to life. So I hope you guys found some ideas that you can create your own shadow puppets and play around with light and shadow. The closer I get, the more light it blocks out and it makes it bigger and the further away, the smaller, right? Play around with it. And if you don't have any supplies, if you don't have any scissors at home or cardstock, you don't actually need anything but the wall and the light because you could actually make some shadow puppets just with your hands. You can make a little bunny. So play around today with light and shadow, and we'll see you next time at the Catawba County Library.